we're seeing a whole bunch of different types of anxieties emerge. So social anxiety, which is fear of being in a social gathering with many other people around you. Uh, there's agoraphobia, which is fear of leaving your home and not being close to medical care. There's hypochondriasis, which is excess fear or worry about your own health. And there's actually a new anxiety called haphophobia, which is fear of being touched by other people. Take a deep breath, and that automatically triggers chemicals that slow down your heart rate, reduce your blood pressure, and help you feel better. Ease yourself back into some social gatherings and situations, but start to push your boundaries because you don't want to end up in a position where you're stuck because that can start to become pathologic. You want to stop, look at the objective information, which is I'm vaccinated and I'm protected, and I'm going to continue to uh, you know, do things to protect myself, like washing my hands and not touching my face, and that'll help you to ease your anxiety. Now keep in mind the vaccine is not going to give you the infection and that's what a lot of people worry about. It's so everybody around us can be protected as well, including our kids who are not yet eligible for the vaccine because we stop the spread of the infection. The, the virus may go from being a pandemic to being endemic, meaning we're gonna have to live alongside it forever. So I think the most important thing is to start to get into a mode of healing and recovery. Keep washing those hands, not touching our face, making sure we get vaccinated if we're not yet vaccinated, but working towards getting ourselves back to normal.